Some worries in several North Texas cities that changes in the Trump administration could lead to a little belt tightening here. And that includes Arlington, where we find CBS 11's Joel Thomas. Yeah, and the Arlington City Council right now is learning about staff worries that with new laws, it could cost more to do projects like this one. This is where they're building Arlington's new library. The city doesn't want to have to tell taxpayers it can't afford to build a library because voters are usually for projects like this. Yeah, we need libraries for sure. I mean, it's close to the college, so the college students can use it. A good thing. Yeah. Projects like libraries and major street repairs are funded with bond programs, loans that private investors back. There is a tax reform plan in Washington that would start charging taxes on the investors. And cities say if taxes go up, the cost of projects like this go up. If we did not have the advantage of the tax exempt status on municipal bonds, it would cost us more to do that project. So the council will be faced with a choice. They can either uh, build less or they can spend more. And if given a choice between building a library or fixing a street in their neighborhood. Definitely the road in front of my house. The street in front of my house. Why? Because I'll be paying for my tire repairs and bumps all day. Arlington, like other cities, also relies on federal money for local programs. So the second part of what we're concerned about is the local government programs that aren't, um, that, that could also face some, some, t some cuts, some funding cuts. That's $30 million a year Washington sends to Arlington, affecting everyone from low-income residents to protecting Dallas Cowboy fans. Of course, the cities can't predict what will happen, but the Arlington City Council members today were told it's time to start lobbying Washington to protect their money. Reporting live in Arlington, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.